Man, you hear me? You think you ready to start this motherfucking 90 day challenge, man? You hear me? My 90 day challenge is gonna be I lose 40 pounds in 90 days. We're gonna do a 90 day, like a 90 day challenge. Like, whatever you can do in 90 days. Finesse two times, man. we going viral for two things. Y'all, finesse two times. I don't know what it is. The internet be making jokes out of him or maybe welcome, welcome, welcome us in to the joke. Because this is a joke for me right here, though. You chuck you, you, okay. Finesse two time wanted people to stop offering him advice on how to lose weight. Now, why you want people to stop offering you advice if you welcome the, the media on the journey with you? You came to the world and said you trying to lose weight. You on a, what is the, the, the 60 day diet, this and that. You just told everybody, come join the weight process. It's social media. Everybody going to add their two, they two cents. Now you mad. Now you mad they add their two cents. That don't make sense. Why you even post on the journey? Why not just lose the weight and then pop up on social media built as fuck? You feel me? Like, maybe it's just, this is how I think, like. But he said, trying to tell me how to lose weight. I got up to 315 pounds when I was in jail and lost 100 pounds in 11 months by myself without supplements, without supplements, without spring water, jail sink water, without trainers. Thanks, though. Respectfully. Damn, it took 11, 11 months. Well, they is in jail, so niggas got that bitch eating swole. But damn, it took 11 months to lose 100 pounds. I don't know, y'all. I'm a skinny nigga, so I got a high metabolism, so weight don't stick me. I can't get past 130 to save my life, just to be honest with y'all. I tried, and I tried, and I tried. It's just not possible for me. I'm a skinny nigga. It is what it is. You feel me? But damn, 11 pounds. 100 pounds in 11 months, crazy. 315 pounds. I was kind of lost, though. How, how how you come out, like, still fat, though? Like, you want in there working out for real? Like, but, you know, a lot of fat niggas don't be doing cardio for real. You know, which is working their legs or running around, running, you know what I'm saying, running treadmills, uh, losing that water weight and shit like that. I do, uh, you know, go to the gym and work out as well. So, but I did. I'm like, bro, that nigga came out with it. fat as hell. Pause. No diddy. Like, nigga got a gut like he was in that motherfucker drinking lean. You usually see niggas go to jail or the feds and get out somewhat built. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I don't, know. I don't know. You think the niggas will be off the drugs when they go to jail and come out? You feel me? Okay, they said in the comments that he forget he admitted to getting a BBD, a BBL. They said he didn't say without surgery though. They said what's wrong with spring water? Three hundred pounds of it was was in his hips. He cried every day about something. He got lipo and just gained the weight back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People in the comments, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you can't even... Jail losing weight is different than home losing weight. That's a fact. That's a fact. But the nigga ain't losing weight for real in jail, so it's gonna be even harder being out of jail, finesse. I'm just a messenger. I'm just a nigga with an opinion. You had all the time in the day to really do that in jail. The distractions was not really there. So you could have just been working out, you know what I'm saying? Doing your crunches, doing some burpees. That's for anybody. You want to get built for real, get you some weight, do you some burpees, you feel me? So how the hell did nigga come out fat? And now I know Kane was saying he was a bad body built bitch. Is that... This I salute it though. I salute the journey. I salute niggas want to be healthy and you know what I mean. Want to do what they do to get their body right because we all should. You know what I'm saying. If we go to war right now with a different country or China or some shit like that, man, we can't fuck with them people, bro. We think we can't go. Oh, I got aim and niggas ain't got no aim. Niggas ain't got no endurance. Niggas ain't got the metabolism for it. You feel me? Niggas don't got the charisma for it, the cardio for it. Them niggas be skinny. Them niggas be pilt. 
Them niggas can run long as shit. Them niggas can hold their water under breath. All we got is fucking aim with guns, bro. It's gonna be bad. Ah, oh, fuck. I hope we never go to war with another country for real. Who practices self discipline. Because we out here eating fucking McDonald's and Wendy's and Root Chris and all that shit. And get, get fat as fuck compared to other countries. Man, we not ready for that. But anyway, I'm just a messenger, man. I'm just a nigga with an opinion. Good luck on your journey for the last two times. You feel what I'm saying? But you shouldn't bring the internet and social media along with you on your journey if you didn't want their advice and their comments. Because that's just how they do. That's just how they get down. You know that. So I think you just need something to complain about and talk about. I'm just a messenger though, man. I'm just a nigga on the pain and shit. But good luck on your journey though, my boy, if you see this.